Okay, so quick note on what I did. In CarveCo, when I set up a new file, this is not CarveCo, this is Open Builds Control, by the way, but in CarveCo, when I set up the file to draw this toolpath, I um, set the lower left corner as the zero position, even though this CNC seems to think that the rear right corner is. Took a while to get CarveCo, Open Builds, and the CNC all agreeing on which way to move and when to move. So um, now that that's solved, I finally figured out that by using a, a 3D printer technique for zeroing plates, uh, build plates, basically taking paper, taking the, uh, the bit and basically sliding it under the bit as you decrease the Z axis until it just grabs and then calling that uh, right here set zero. For the Z, all right. It's it's obviously above zero because it's three point five four because it's actually above the zero. The zero is right here. Um, then what I did was it was important to take my material, which is affixed by placing not only my sacrifice board here, um, painters tape, painters tape on the back side of my piece of acryl, uh, clear acrylic, and then I'm trying out this glue. Gorilla uh, Clear Grip, it's supposed to be a pretty fast set in glue. And that is on the tape that's on my acrylic and basically between that tape and between the tape that's on my sacrifice board. And then just for some added stability, I have added some tape around the side. And since I'm cutting out a piece that won't be anchored down, that glue is going to be very important that hopefully this will work. Hopefully it'll be dried enough that when the uh, bit comes through and cuts out that lens, that that piece will remain in the same spot and won't move. Um, that's the point of the glue. Um, so right now I've positioned the bit and I, I've told it again that zero uh, X and zero Y is that position. And it agrees on the screen here because it shows the front left corner of this is the, uh, the zero. It also shows the bit is up off of its zero, which is fine because once I say run job, it's actually going to know that it's already above the zero position and it will know its heights. So Z axis, Y axis and X axis to cut this piece. So, what's next? I'm just waiting for the glue to dry a little bit. And um, I guess I'll give it a go. It's supposed to be some pretty fast acting glue. So this is a um, clear lens for my fuel flow indicator. And that should finish out my instrument that has been made with laser um, cutting, laser engraving, um, yeah, 3D printing a bezel um, and some intermediate layers. So a little complicated little instrument, but let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. I hope that this sticks. So it should go from right here. Here goes. <laughs> That looks great. That is the best one I've done so far. I don't think it shifted, so it looks pretty good. The bits I'm using for this, by the way, for acrylic, they are single edge milling cutters, 3.175, and they are, what are they called, an O flute. So you can, you can see that that big part in it is designed to throw the scraps of acrylic far away. Um, it's a little bit melting on there, but it's designed to get rid of those so it does not uh, melt or get in the way of, of the further cutting. So 
That's a quick one on CNC routing. That's probably my very first successful route of a part I designed for my sim pit. We'll see you soon. Let's try again. going so well.